we're back after a week off. It's a brand new Plug Talk Sports podcast episode. You already know our names, Danny Torres and, of course, Steven Lopez. What's up, everybody? So I'm not going to get into it, but we took a week off due to uh, COVID-19 protocols. I won't sh- share which one of us got it because that's that's private information. But uh, the important thing is that we're back. Uh, we're feeling healthy and uh, we're ready to go, ready with a new pod. Of course, this is why we're on Zoom. Usually me and Steven would be together, but uh, you got to keep each other safe. So, uh, and of course, imagine, you know, if both of us would have gotten it, then there would be no Plug Talk Sports podcast for, for a little <laughs> bit. But this is the best we got. This is the best uh, we're doing right now. And, and we're moving forward with the podcast episodes. Yes, sir. Upwards and onwards always. Yeah, of course. And we're doing uh, the best event in March, uh, March Madness. We're going to go through our uh, through our picks. I, I printed out the whole the whole bracket here. I do this every year. It's, it's fun. I do the same thing for the NBA playoffs. Uh, which will be the, a bracket for the NBA playoffs. Yeah, I, I print it out and I, I put who's going to go into each round and all the way to the finals. That's like that's like a classic, like a classic version. I like that. That's like, you know, filling out the newspaper or something. It's fun, yeah. man. It, it's, yeah, it's I might, fun. I might start, I might start to do that, you know, and, and tell my friends to do it too. So I don't want to, I got to call out the bandwagons. People yeah. like to change up teams and playoffs. But it, it's, it's fun though, because you get to see how accurate you were based off of your analysis at the end of the day oh yeah i mean march march madness that's what the whole tournament is about you know everybody just getting ready to fill out the brackets i remember back in high school we used to fill out eight or ten of them you know see which one was the best and like enter enter in the the tournaments with your with your buddies in the app and all that that hey, was the we're gonna best have one. to uh we're gonna have to screenshot each other to make sure we gotta hold each other's own to make sure there's yeah. no one's lying halfway through the tournament yeah yeah i'm gonna print out mine and then i'm gonna send it over to you there's, we'll there's, have a records of each other's. there's a video on my YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel, now on the Plug Talk Sports uh, YouTube channel. You guys can watch when I did uh, last year's in the bubble, the NBA playoffs. And I had my dad. My dad was on the video with me. And this guy was like, did not pick the Portland Trailblazers. He's like, oh, no, there's too many protests going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's, let's talk March Madness. Let's get into it. Uh, we got the first four, which... Obviously, these teams, whoever comes out of these first four games, will be seeded into the first round of uh, the tournament. So this is this is like a preliminary round. Uh, we're going to get into it. The first matchup is uh, at 16 and 7, Norfolk State against 17 and 11, Appalachian State. Steven, who do you got there? I got Norfolk State in that one. We're going different ways there, buddy. I'm going App State all the way. Boom, North Carolina. <laughs> Uh, the next one, 16 and five, Wichita State against 25 and four, Drake. Um, I mean, it's always hard to root against Drake because he is the best rapper of the generation right now. But <laughs> Wichita State, Wichita State in college basketball, they can't beat him, man. I'm going with the Shockers. I'm going with Drake. Okay, okay. Man, yeah, Steven, bro. I like it. Okay. okay. All right, the third game of the, of the uh, first four, we have Mount St. Mary's at 12 and 10 against Texan Southern at 16 and eight. Steven, sir, your pick. I got St. Mary's. Texas Southern. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, you're gonna get used to it because I don't know what's going on. Last couple of weeks, me and Steven, we just, it's just been going at it, man. Yeah, we can't agree on one thing, dude. <laughs> uh, and then the final matchup, uh, Michigan State, UCLA, Michigan State, the Spartans at 15 and 12, and the Bruins at 17 and 9. I'm going with UCLA. You're going UCLA? This is going to be a great matchup. Uh, I'm going UCLA too, so I guess we'll agree on one. Okay. Now we're going to go over to uh, the West. We're going to start with the West bracket. Gonzaga, for me, I have App State. You have Norfolk State. Obviously, for me, I'm putting uh, Gonzaga into the next round. Yeah, I think uh, it only happened one time, right? A, a cu- two, two seasons ago when the uh, number 16 seed beat the number one seed. So, so that's not I'm happening gonna anytime that. soon. Uh, you guys see me looking down. It's I'm filling out the bracket. So I, I'm going to put Gonzaga in here into the second round. Yeah, I got, I got Gonzaga in that one too. It's a no-brainer. And we go down. 
15 and 10 Oklahoma against 16 and 9 Missouri. Steven, your pick. I have Oklahoma in that one. I agree with you. I think the Sooners, even though it's their 15 and 10 record, I think they're the better team. I'm going with the Sooners. Moving on. Creighton at 20 and 8 against UC Santa Barbara at 22 and 4. Steven. I got Creighton in that one. Uh, going back to the Doug McDermott days, maybe they got uh, some shooters. You know, they always got some shooters in Creighton. That game's on March 20th. We're going to disagree on when we UC Santa Barbara. Ooh, your first upset coming so soon. Of course. Wow. I have only got one upset on this side of the bracket. I'll, it's coming to you later. Okay. Oh, we got here uh, the fourth seed, Virginia at 18 and six. Nash defending national champs. Obviously, there was no tournament last year due to COVID, but the year before that, Virginia took it all against Texas Tech. Uh, the Red Raiders, and they're facing Ohio at 16 and 7. Virginia, Ohio, Stephen, your pick. I got Virginia beating the Ohio Bobcats in that one. I agree with you. I put the defending champs into the second round. Hmm. And here we go USC, the Trojans at 22 and 7. You have Wichita State. I have Drake. Ah, that's going to be hard, man. For me, at least, that's mm -hmm. going to be hard with uh, USC against Drake. Uh, I mean, I wanted, I really wanted to go Wichita because I just love Wichita in the tournament, man. They're always some good sleepers, but I'm taking USC in that one. I'm taking Drake. Yeah? I'm taking Ooh. Drake. I'm taking Drake. Okay, okay, okay. I'm taking Drake. The six. Danny on early, on early upset alert. I yeah, like it. I like it. You guys, you guys heard it here first. <laughs> uh, Kansas at 20 and 8 against Eastern Washington, 16 and 7. For me, can't go wrong with the Jayhawks. Got to go with Kansas. Of course, they've produced so many great players. Of course, very own Miami Heat, no longer with the Heat, but champion Mario Chalmers. <laughs> Mario Chalmers. Three. Uh, yeah, I got Kansas in that one too. And also Eastern Washington, their logo is really whack. They got like an E and a W on like the Eagle thing. You know, they're really trying to make it work, but it's not. Like they got to change up their logo, man. Get yeah, like what, 21st what, century. Where's nah. one of those uh, classic cars? Well, I forgot the name of it, man. Uh, was it a Thunderbird or something Thunderbird? like that? The big eagle in, in the in the hood. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like you know, it's maybe it was cool back then in the seventies, man. But you know, get with the program, Eastern Washington. You're not winning any games with that logo. <laughs> All right, man. We got uh, twenty and six Oregon against VCU. We got some assistant coaches over at FIU that played for VCU and took that school far in the tournament in March Madness a couple of years ago. So, VCU, Oregon, Stephen, your pick. Uh, that's the easiest upset of the tournament for me. That's VCU all day. I'm going to agree with you on this one, man. Virginia Commonwealth mm -hmm. University. I got VCU in the second round. Yeah, they know they know something about March Madness. They got a see, always got a secret up their sleeve. Now, uh, the next two teams, I, I know one of the, the next one, I mean, I looked at it and I was like, oh, is this like Grand Canyon ITT Tech type of uh, – School, we got Iowa at 21 and 8, 17 and 6. No disrespect, Grand Canyon. You're in a lovely place. Gets cold. It's always cold at night. Lovely place. No disrespect. But uh, going with Iowa. Yeah, Grand Canyon had one game versus a top 25 school, and they lost it. Um, they're not looking too promising. That's, hey, a, look, that's an easy one. If, if they're one and, one and done, they're near Las Vegas. They can head to Vegas. You know, it's Yeah, you know, have their fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's Iowa all the way though. And then, ooh, ooh, if you, if, I'm telling you, I'm ending this this podcast right here. If you pick who I think you're gonna pick in the next one, like you cannot do my man Jawan Howard like that. Ooh, Michigan, twenty and okay. four. You have Mount St. Mary's. I have Texas Southern. 
I'm picking Michigan. If you pick anything other than Michigan, we're, we're ending. We're ending the episode right here. Well, we'll disagree on it later, but I will have Michigan advancing as the number 16 seed. But we'll, we'll be back to that one a little later. Very good. I'm very happy that you made a very smart choice, very educated choice this time, Esteban. <clears throat> Just wait, sir. You know, I had to I had to put you on a little blast. I'm sorry the other time against, you know, Curry and Embiid, but it's okay. Hey, you got lucky, man. Embiid, Embiid got hurt. I don't know how long he's going to be out for. I don't, I don't think they've said it yet, but he's injured. So you know, a he real was a front runner. The, the, on the ESPN alert, it said MVP front runner, Joel Embiid injured. Listen, all my condolences and respect to Joel Embiid. ESPN can say whatever they want. No real MVP gets hurt. Man. <laughs> Moving on. Give me the next matchup. That's a story for another day. Uh, LSU at 18 and 9 have produced people like Shaquille O'Neal against and Simmons. Saint, yeah, St. Bonaventure. At Guys, I can't shoot threes. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't be knocking down any against the Bonnies, baby. I got St. Bonaventure advancing. What? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going with LSU, bro. No, man. Just wait. The Bonnies, the Bonnies love March Madness too. I'm excited. I'm excited this year. It's gonna be a real toss-up. There's gonna be a lot of upsets. I can't deal. I'm not saying anything. I I I cannot, you know, Steven, it's just all right. Uh, moving on. Colorado 22 and 8 against 13 and 12. Patrick Ewing's Georgetown. I'm going with Georgetown all day, baby. Patrick Ewing, that is a hell of a coach right there. He knows how to coach those young men. Don't look at the record. If you go by record in March Madness, you're going to lose. Yep. I'm going with Georgetown. It's by who gets hot at the right time, who starts playing winning basketball. And I'm agreeing with you on that one, Danny. That's a, a nice a nice upset that we both got uh, brewed in the works. Georgetown is definitely taking down Colorado. Now, here's a very interesting matchup. They didn't win the ACC. They lost to Georgia Tech. So they got the ACC at large spot. The Florida State Seminoles at 16 and 6. They were predicted to win the ACC in that matchup. Didn't happen, but they faced 21 and 8 UNC Greensboro. UNC Greensboro, they got they got some pretty good shooters over there. I don't think it'll be enough to beat the Seminoles, though. So I got FSU in to the next round don't get don't get too rowdy talent nasty it's only the second round yeah i got uh i think fsc is actually a good team despite that that uh acc championship game if that game that they lost uh i think they're a good squad and i definitely have them advancing in a couple a couple situations so then um, we got they're, gone. they're up in the next one byu and I picked, I believe you picked UCLA as well, right? Yeah. BYU, UCLA. Oh, man. I'm going with UCLA. Me too. I'm going with UCLA. That's a safe pick. I'm going with the, with the boys down there. Maybe Lonzo Ball. Show them a little something-something. LaVar <laughs> <laughs> well, Ball coming over. Like, oh, my <laughs> um, this is an interesting one. Texas and Abilene Christian. This is interesting one. Hmm. I got Texas. I'm conflicted on this one. <clears throat> you are torn on this one, really. I think Texas is a good squad. I don't think I don't think Abilene Christian. I mean, take it if you want. Hey, I want you. I want you to get it wrong. So go ahead. Go ahead. Go for the other school. Abilene Christian, go ahead, go ahead, pick them, uh, pick them. I, I'm gonna pick go the little upset. I'm gonna go with Texas. Yeah, that Cinderella story seems a little too good to be true. I don't think the the glass slipper is gonna fit on them. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna go with Texas. Yeah. Then we got uh, we got the place that made you know Shabazz Napier, which was a waste of a pick for the Heat. Thanks, LeBron. Uh, but they also made Kemba Walker. Okay, okay. I still get lost yeah. to the heat yet, yeah, Leon, last season in the Celtics, but that's okay. Cardiac Kemba. Um, <laughs> he's facing the Terrapins of Maryland, UConn, Maryland. Uh, 
Hmm. I'm gonna go UConn. Uh, I'm going with Maryland, okay. mainly because of their lobster rolls. They are absolutely amazing. So I think they are gonna just serve them up a bunch of lobster rolls, and UConn can't handle it. Well, Maryland is advancing. Y'all can have them all together after the first round because definitely y'all gonna be together in the second round. Uh, winners. This is interesting. Winners of the SEC. Alabama, 24 and 6. Y'all thought they were a football school, but apparently they got the dribble too. Uh, Crimson Tide taking on Iona. I'm going to Iona, man. Really? I'm going to Iona. Wow. I was going to say, I, I was about to say Iona messing around as a joke, you know, and then say JK. But hey, I like that pick. It's a, it's a very controversial one. I really think you'll get it wrong. But hey, man. Props to you if you're right. I think you're about the only one going for it. So I'll go, I, I'm going. I'm going the safe pick, Alabama. I, I think Iona's been. Uh, I think they know how to play the tournament. Okay. Okay. Now, do you want to advance, Stephen, to the other side of the bracket, or would you like to continue here into the second round? Um, we can do the second round on this side, and then after we get in these picks, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll on, finish. On we'll finish side. this side, and then move on to the, the next side. Okay, second round here. Uh, Gonzaga against Oklahoma. Who you got? I got, I got undefeated Gonzaga. They're still going. They're fighting. I, I agree with Oklahoma you. Oklahoma doesn't stand a chance against them. I, I agree with you. I'm going with Gonzaga. Yep. Now we got, I have UC Santa Barbara, Virginia. You have Creighton and Virginia. Correct. Who do you go for? I'm going Creighton. Mm. Uh, they can score the basketball. They can shoot. And everyone knows Virginia's motto is defend, defend, defend. Techni- usually I would go for defense wins championships. But I don't know, man. Virginia, I know they won, but they're, they're sometimes they're consistent. I think they're still going to be right on their high horse. I got Creighton knocking them out. Are you ready? Don't tell me. You see Santa Barbara. UC Santa Barbara going to the next round. Give me that. Oh, man. Oh, man, Danny. This this could either go really well or really bad. Give me that. Show me the money. All right. So I have Drake and Kansas. Who do you mm-hmm. have on? I have USC and Kansas, and I am going for USC. Mario Chalmers ain't doing much to help him. Uh, South Carolina's advance. South California. Sorry, Southern Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Southern Carolina. That's California, you, not Carolina. That's 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 when you know you don't know what you're picking. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Got him confused. Got him confused. I'm going for Kansas. Nah, man. Toto. I don't have a feeling in Kansas anymore. Um <laughs> VC, I have VCU and Iowa. Is that what you have as well? Yeah, I got VCU, Iowa also. And I, I have VCU. Iowa. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, 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 okay. I like VCU, but I don't like them enough to be Iowa. I think they're advancing. I got the Hawkeyes. Assistant coach Joey Rodriguez, I didn't say it. Steven said it. So you see him around, blame him. Uh, here we go. And that, that goes for Ballard too. All, all those guys over there, FIU. Blame, blame Steven Lopez. Hey, man. I'm just saying what's going to happen. <laughs> so I got Michigan LSU. Is that what you – what do you have there? I have Michigan and St. Bonaventure. Oh, yeah, that's right. You went with that crazy pick. Uh, I'm going Michigan. Yeah, I'm going Michigan too. I don't think the St. Bonnies have enough, enough magic to pull off that upset. Yeah, well, they didn't have enough to get past the first round. Oh, wait till you see. Wait till you see their matchup against Michigan. They're going to get a run for their money. Here's a fun one, bro. Georgetown FSU. Mm. Man. I know I know. the last thing you want to do is send Tyler Nasty out to another round, but that's what I'm doing. FSU is a good basketball team, and as much as I hate them, I have to send them through to the next round. Disagree with me. Go ahead. You know what? 
I will. You're going to disrespect the Hall of Famer like that? Poor guy can't even... <laughs> Poor guy can't even walk to Madison Square Garden anymore without That's, them knowing who he is, man. And what do they got working in there, bro? 12-year-olds? They got 12-year-olds working security? They don't know who Patrick Ewing is? I don't know, man. Supposedly That's he terrible. Asked, he asked if his name was still up in the banner up there. All right. UCLA and Texas. I, I, got, the same, I got the same matchup, and I... Have Texas advancing. Got the Longhorns. Matthew McConaughey is going to coach him from the sidelines. <laughs> so, man, he does soccer and college basketball now? That is one diverse guy. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yes. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go with uh, UCLA. Okay. Got the upsets of Bruin. Here we go. UConn and Iona. I'm going to have to go with UConn. Oh, that's right. You have Iona in that one. Yeah, I'm you have kind of like, where where'd Iona go? Well, we got um, – that's interesting because we have a completely different uh, second round. I have Maryland and Alabama in that yeah. one. And uh, I'm going with the safe pick. I'm going Alabama advancing uh, next round uh, with a two versus three matchup, Texas versus Alabama. Okay. And we go into the Sweet 16 over on this side of the bracket. For me, Gonzaga and UC Santa Barbara. I'm sorry, but you're going back home to those pretty ladies in California. It's <laughs> Gonzaga going to the Elite Eight. Yeah, Gonzaga's not losing anytime soon. They're getting to the Elite Eight very comfortably over Creighton in my bracket. Uh, for me, I got Kansas Jayhawks, VCU. Sorry, half of the FIU assistant coaching staff, but this is your time. It's done. It's Kansas. Moving on. Uh, in this one, I got Iowa against USC. And I have South Carolina, excuse me, <laughs> Southern California advancing. It's a completely different state, Stephen. I started messing around. It's they a joke. They have very different, very different looks in the state. Yeah, different looks about them. I mean, I haven't been to California. I want to go soon. So maybe I'll become educated once I get you there. Should, uh, you should look at the map. It's, it's a very large thing on the west side of the country. Um, really? I don't think I've ever seen it before. Well, California, just know that this man is, doesn't even know your team, your state, and he's picking you guys out. Hey, Moving that on. give some confidence, man. You know? For me, I have Michigan against Georgetown. Who do you have there? Michigan, Florida State. I got Michigan. I have the Florida State Seminoles beating up on Jawan Howard. Wow. So you yeah. really have Talanasty going that far. Elite Eight. Yo, look. Florida State is in the Elite Eight. I'm, I'm getting past number one, Michigan. Jawan Howard, I don't know how much he learned from Spolstra. I'm not very confident in him. I never liked him too much when he played for the Heat. He was already too old when he got here. Sorry for all the haters that I'm going to get. But, you know, some people are going to agree with me. Jawan listen, Howard was, was pretty washed. He was already a coach by the time he got here. Listen, folks, I have my phone right here. I'm about to give Governor DeSantis a phone call and let him know. Look, Florida's been doing very good with COVID-19 rates. And if it starts spiking right around this time, specifically in the Panhandle area in Tallahassee, because someone's team's going a little too far, then it should. Stephen Lopez. Hey, man. It's a little bit of me and a little bit of uh, the Seminoles. So I'll be, I'll be happy with – I'll be proud with the pick. Here we go. I got UCLA, UConn. I know you have a completely, totally different bottom half there. Wait, UCLA, UConn. I have UCLA, UConn. You have a different matchup. Oh, that was the the that's the Texas, Alabama. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with Texas in that one. I'm going with UConn. All righty, here we're making progress on to the Elite Eight. I have Gonzaga against Kansas. Sorry, Kansas. Mario Chalmers, your time is over. 
Gonzaga going to ah, the next round. I got Gonzaga against USC. And I do need, don't even want to say their name anymore. So I'm going Gonzaga. <laughs> Here we go. For me, Michigan, Yukon. Uh, I'm going to go with Michigan. Okay. You really like Joe Howard. I got uh, Florida State, Texas in my matchup, and I have Texas advancing to the Final Four. I do like Juwan Howard. You know what he's got? He's got a ring. Yeah, so do my parents. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on, <laughs> go on. Yeah, well, you know who's got many of them? Who? My parents also, because my mom's been married twice. <laughs> Not as much as J-Lo. Oh, yeah, true, true. She's got a lot. <laughs> She's still Jenny from the block, though, so. All right, going, going. Back to, back to sports, back to sports. Yeah, yeah, back to sports, back to sports. She's She's been involved in lots of sports, but back to sports. Um, <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to the semifinals here. I got Gonzaga, Michigan. I'm taking Gonzaga back into the national championship. Yeah, and I'm going to agree with you. Gonzaga is going back to the championship, and this does seem like the safest pick. They haven't lost and doesn't look like they're going to lose anytime soon. All right. Now the fun continues. We have a whole other side to go. So start off in that other side, Baylor, Hartford, Stephen, your pick. I got Hartford. <laughs> jokes, jokes, jokes. I have Baylor advancing. I'm kidding. God bless you. <laughs> My heart almost stopped for a moment. I got Baylor advancing as well. Oof, you're in for a treat in the next one, though. Okay. North Carolina, Wisconsin. I'm going with Wisconsin. I'm going with the Badgers, too. No, Tar Heels have not been good at all this year. No, they haven't. I don't, and I don't know what it is against the big three in college basketball, Kentucky, Duke, and North Carolina. Kentucky, Duke didn't even make it, and North Carolina has been really consistent. I've got Wisconsin first round getting oh. to the second. Okay. Good. Uh, here we go. Villanova, Winthrop. Go on, Villanova. Yeah, I'm going on Villanova, too. I don't think Winthrop got what it takes with their uh, classic Atlanta Hawks logo. <laughs> Atlanta Hawks wannabe logo. Go on, Villanova. This is uh, quite interesting, Stephen. We uh, seem to be in agreement on this side of the bracket so far. Looking good, looking good. Here we go. Purdue against the Conference USA champions, the North Texas Mean Green. Who you got there? I hey. really want to go. I really want to go for the best name in college basketball. Hey. I'm one of the the hey. Mean Green. They're scary. They're just as mean as they sound. They're good on the football field and on the basketball field. And on the basketball courts, I should say. But I'm gonna go with the Boilermakers. I don't think North Texas is is winning this matchup. There goes your job. You're supposed to keep it there, bro. The CUSA way. You're supposed to keep it there, bro. Come on, man. Nah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to, but I can't give it to him. Hey, I got no obligations anymore, so I'm going for Purdue. <laughs> sorry, Conference USA. You're only going that far. Ooh. Texas Tech and Utah State. I'm going with the Red Raiders. I wanted to go with the Red Raiders. Um, they were a good Cinderella story a couple seasons this, ago. Is this our first disagreement here? But we are in disagreement as I'm going for Utah State advancing in the 6 to 11 upset. Okay. And uh, here we go Arkansas, which is in the top four to land Antonio Day Jr., if you didn't see that. It's one of his top four schools. He's got his four left. Arkansas is in there. I told Isaac, which is our team editor, I told him, he asked me about this earlier. I told them, I think Arkansas is going to be the school. Yeah, it was Arkansas, Clemson, Providence. Providence. And there is one, uh, one more. Whatever. It's another topic, but 
I think I think he's gonna choose Arkansas. Yeah, that would, that would be a good thing. Arkansas taking on Colgate. No, not your toothpaste. The school. <laughs> Can't imagine how many times they've got that one. Yeah, yeah Col- Colgate's not going anywhere but your mouth. They're copping it now. I got Arkansas. Yep, I got Arkansas. And here we go. Florida, them Gators, the Swamp, Gainesville against the Virginia Tech Hokies. Got to go with Florida. You got Florida. I got the Hokies. Oh, God. People must hate you. (laughs) You know, after being so pro-Florida, you cannot just now not go for a Florida school. You got Florida State that far. You can't not be now – negative florida now yep it's it's the heart wants what it wants man what can i tell you here we go the buckeyes of ohio state uh they're all sponsored by lebron hopefully maybe Bronny james goes there uh against oral roberts never uh, oral roberts okay uh ne- focus danny uh <laughs> ohio state oral roberts who do you got there, Steven? I just want to get this one over with, man. I, I got to get it on my system one time, though. Oral Roberts? Come on. Come on. I got Ohio State. You're not going to go with uh, Oral Roberts? No, I've never met him. And uh, I don't think anybody else wants to either. It's Ohio State. Apparently, Ohio State does in the first round. Now, but I got Buckeyes. Here we go. Illinois against Drexel. Not Clyde Drexel from Portland Trailblazers, the Hall of Famer. Uh, Drexel, the school. I got the Fighting Illini. Hmm. You got the Clyde Drexlers? Don't tell me that. No, I'm going with I see you. All right. I saw you looking a little too long. Now, Loyola, Chicago against Georgia Tech. I'm going with Yolola, Chicago. Yolola, Yolola, Chicago. A Yola, Yola, a Loyola. Now, now you can't say the name, huh? How about that one? Yolola, Yolola, Chicago. Well, I'm not going with Yolola, and I'm not going for their uh, team. If, if you remember when they were in the tournament, um, they had, well, I think she was a super fan or, or something like that a couple of seasons ago. The, uh, the nun, right? She was a nun, yeah, and she was balling on the basketball court. Like, she would go out there and take shots. So, I mean, I really want to go for them, but I'm going to go with Georgia Tech. Even more. Yoyola. 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 There we go. I got it. Uh, Loy, Loy. <laughs> Shout out to my cousin up there. He's a volunteer himself. Tennessee Volunteers, Oregon State. Hmm. I got to think about this one. Steven, who you got? I have the Beavers beating up on the Volunteers. The Beavers are going to build a big dam around the hoop. Volunteers can't get in. Beavers win. Smart, please. I'm sorry, Vincent, up in Tennessee. I love you, brother. You know, we're family. Our, our blood runs through. But uh, you're not seeing past the first round. I'm going with the Beavers. Okay, I like that. Agreeing on an upset right there. Oh, look at this. Look who's in, who's in, in this matchup. People who, are, who gave us a, a good can of ass whooping in the first game of the season uh, uh, for football. <laughs> Oklahoma State Liberty. Hmm, Oklahoma State. Yeah, I got Oklahoma State too. I don't see an upset in that one. Okay, San Diego State and the Q's, the Syracuse home of Carmelo Anthony. Who you got there? I have the home of Carmelo Anthony. I'm going advancing to, to the second round. I got I got Syracuse. Man, I don't think uh, I don't think Kawhi Leonard's Aztecs are doing anything. We uh wow, we're very much in agreement in this side of the bracket. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Yeah. Not enough controversy for me. 
I'm gonna have to go with Moorhead State here just to just to switch it up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Oh, West okay. Virginia. I was about to say. Shout West out to Kenneth Green. You know that song by uh, things named John Denver. Take me home. Oh, yeah. country West Virginia. Virginia. My mama. Yep. Go on West Virginia. Yeah, I got the West Virginians too. All righty then, another school in the running for Antonio Day Jr., the Clemson Tigers taking on Rutgers. I have the ACC Clemson Tigers in that one. Very ACC heavy bracket I have, I've been noticing. Hmm. Maybe a little biased. Oh, man. I'm watching a lot of ACC basketball. Got Clemson. I got Clemson. All right, my good sir, Houston against the home of Norris Cole, Cleveland State. Yeah, man, I got hyped when I, I saw. I got hyped when I saw that one. If they have a player on their team with half the heart of Norris Cole, they're doing something. But I don't know if they do, so I'm picking Houston. <laughs> man, it's a shame because I really wanted to say Cleveland. This is for you, but uh, I'm going with Houston too. Houston does not have a problem. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. All right, second round. I believe we both have Baylor, Wisconsin, correct? Yes, sir. I'm going to go with... I'm going with Wisconsin. Really? Okay. Yep. That is our first big disagreement. Then I got the Baylor Bears advancing to the Sweet 16. Okay. We all have opinions. Oh, it's freedom of speech here, the United States of America. Uh, I believe we have Villanova Purdue, correct? Yes, sir. I'm going with Villanova. Yep, I'm going with Nova too. Nova, Nova, Nova. Uh, I have the Texas Tech Red, Red, uh, Red Raiders against Arkansas. I think we have a difference there. Yes, I have Utah State against Arkansas. But that is, it. that is as far as Utah State will go. They'll lose to the Razorbacks, and the Razorbacks are moving on to Sweet 16. I agree. I have Arkansas there as well. All right. Florida and Ohio State. Thank God I don't have to say Oral Roberts anymore. Um, Florida. We got, got the Gators. You got the Gators, really. I have uh, Virginia Tech, Ohio State, and I have Ohio State in that one. Uh, Illinois and Loyola. I'm going to go with the Nun. I'm going with the Nun. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have Illinois against Georgia Tech, but I do not have the Tech boys and the Yellow Jackets. I have the Fighting Illini. Moving on. Okay. Uh, Oregon State and Oklahoma State. Yep. I have Oregon State in that one. I'm going to have to agree with you. Oregon State. Sounds like a good upset to me. OG State. <laughs> All right. The Q's against West Virginia. West Virginia, Mount Mama. You going is West Virginia? You continue with John Denver? You taking him to the next round? Yep, he's taking me all the way home, baby. Country roads on to the next round. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the Q's. Okay, okay. Mr. ACC. <laughs> there we go. Nothing like you. Trevor Lawrence and the Tigers. No, I'm kidding. It's not football, but uh, Clemson against Houston. Uh, I've got Houston in that one as well. Houston, we have a problem, or we don't. Garrett Vanson. Amen, brother. I got Houston as well. Home <laughs> of, you guys didn't know, Beyonce and Megan the Stallion. Very good info right there. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Some good insight. Uh, here we go. Sweet 16. I got Wisconsin against Villanova. I'm going to get Villanova into the Elite Eight. 
Okay, I got Baylor against Villanova, and I got the Bears winning that matchup. Okay. Uh, I got Arkansas against Florida. Um, I, I think I'm going to go with – who is it? Um, uh, I'm going to go with the Gators. You're going with Gators? Okay. Yep. Okay. Look at you, Mr. Florida man now. I am going – well, my matchup is Arkansas-Ohio State, and I'm going for the Razorbacks to face Baylor in the well, Elite. You very well know him why I'm a Florida man. You know. More reasons, more reasons than one. More Real reasons than one. Reasons, reasons that I cannot announce yet, ladies and gentlemen. But hopefully, hopefully soon. Uh, we'll do it in the files for later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the nun in your Yolo 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 Chicago. Yolo Yoli Loli against OG State, Oregon State. I'm gonna have to go with Oregon State. Okay, that is uh, that's a big upset uh, matchup for you. You know, I got. Illinois against Oregon State, and I've got Illinois advancing. I think they're a really good team. Uh, here we go. I got Syracuse against Houston. Uh, I'm going to go with Houston. Yeah, I got Houston in my matchup as well. They're playing against West Virginia. But there's no more country roads. They ran out of roads. Yeah. So Houston's advancing. Only goes that far. You get to hit different parts of the country. It, it, it changes. <laughs> uh, here we go. Elite. I got Villanova and Florida. Uh, this is a hard one for me. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with Villanova. You're really liking Nova this season. Okay. I am. I am. I like the confidence. I like the confidence. My oh. matchup is Baylor against Arkansas, and I have the Baylor Bears getting to the final four. Okay. Oregon State, Houston for me. I'm going to have to put Houston. Okay. And my bracket is Illinois, Houston, and I have Illinois advancing to the final four. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And here we go. For me, it's Villanova, Houston. You're going to be very shocked. I'm going with Houston. Really? Yep. Wow, 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 wow. You've got some big, interesting picks on your bracket. You're, I do. Going, you're going wild. I've got a little more calm. Matchup of the number ones, Baylor against Illinois, and I have Baylor reaching the national championship uh, game against Gonzaga. And your national champion of the 2021 season will be? The Baylor Bears. They are giving Gonzaga their first loss of the season Woo! in the last game of the season. Crazy, you know what? Because I also have Gonzaga going down and having Houston as the national champion. I like it. I like it. Well, there you have it, folks. My bracket is completely filled out. I got Houston as the national champion and our good friend here and dear colleague and my shining light, uh, Stephen Lopez has... Baylor as the national champion. Don't you worry. One day, one of our schools will be national champions. And hopefully, my kids will see it. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast episode. It was lots of fun. I really enjoyed this week's episode. It was, it was great to be back. Next week, we'll be back with a brand new one. So stay tuned. I appreciate all the support. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take it easy, everybody.